Hey, Liz, my daughter's selling Valentine cookies for school fundraiser. Valentine's Day is a sham created by card companies to reinforce and exploit gender stereotypes. Evelyn, this is the lady I was telling you about. I like Valentine's Day. Tommy Redeker gave me a card. <laughs> Learn from my sexual misadventures, Evelyn. Last Valentine's Day, I watched my boyfriend Drew's mother slash grandmother die. I met Floyd on Valentine's Day, but he left me for the city of Cleveland. And forget about Dennis. That pervert would always just try to get me All drunk. All right, so zero cookies. No, I'll buy some cookies, but not for Valentine's Day. Instead, these cookies celebrate the February 14th birthday of Anna Howard Shaw, famed American suffragette. Happy Anna Howard Shaw Day to you, Evelyn. Come on. A happy Anna Howard Shaw Day to us all! Hey, has anybody heard about any cool new sex positions? My girlfriend's visiting for Valentine's and I want to keep things caliente. Oh my god, Lutz, are you still pretending Karen exists? She's real. Would a fake woman have a personal website at jdlutz.com backslash Karen backslash proof? Oh, good grief. My cousin set me up on a blind date for Valentine's and I just found out the girl is, well, urban. Are you saying she's black? I don't know how to get out of this. Dude, come out with me. You know that load with the messed up teeth who cleans the urinals? She'll only go out with me if she could bring her ugly sister. Wow, I can't believe you guys are letting Valentine's Day win. Not me, one word, oral. Two words, oral surgery. I'm having oral surgery and skipping Valentine's Day. Doctor's orders. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, Dr. Kaplan's office called. They want to know who's picking you up after your procedure. What? Yeah, it's an insurance thing. Anytime you have anesthesia, someone needs to bring you home. Hey, that stuff messes you up. When I had my wisdom teeth out, I tried to get in the bath with my mom. OK, is there any chance that you could take me home? Sorry. Every year, Paul and I rent this big suite up at Niagara, and then she takes the kids there, and I stay home and get wasted in my garage. It's what keeps the magic alive. <laughs> Hey, Trey, I really need a ride home from the doctors on Valentine's Day. Can't do it, Lee Lim. On Valentine's Day, Angie and I are in a room with a heart-shaped hot tub and cook chili in it. Then we take it to a soup kitchen, and that's where it starts to get sexy. Hey, Jenna, please tell me you haven't already concocted your usual Valentine's Day drama. Can't talk, Liz. I just got my stalker's work address from his parole officer, and I'm going to confront him about why he's ignoring me. Hey, Kenneth. Are you free on Valentine's? No, Miss Lemon, I'm sorry. I will be attending an all-day abstinence rally. You're welcome to come. I think I've got an extra gender-neutralizing hood. No, thanks. Hey, Liz. Hey. The answer's no. Listen, Frank, I really need a ride home from the doctor on Valentine's Day. Are you free? No, that cleaning lady finally agreed to go out with me. We're gonna pick up some pierogies and then eat them at her husband's grave. <laughs> you thought you were so much smarter than us, didn't you? But now, you're in the exact same crappy Valentine's Day boat everyone else is in. No, I'm not. I just need a ride home, not a date. They're completely different situations. How's that? All we want on Valentine's Day is to know that someone cares even a little about us. Aren't you looking for the same thing? In fact, yours is worse. If you don't get that tooth fixed, the infection will probably move to your brain and kill you. Yeah, well, if I die, my ghost is gonna haunt you. Then your ghost is gonna see some disgusting stuff.